Hey, I'm Towns from Lenny Boy Kombucha. Just wanted to give you guys a quick video on how to do demos. Um, we've got our setup here. So we've got all of our flavors. Um, whatever's on the shelf at the store you're doing a demo at, you want to have the bottles displayed. Um, just use the, the blank display bottles. Um, you don't have to use actual products just so it keeps our, our real product uh, cold. Um, so on the table, you've got sample cups. Uh, you've got some uh, bottle openers. People really like to uh, pick these up, touch them, take them home. Some people collect bottle caps, so it's a nice little easy thing to interact with the customer. Um, we also have these bottle openers. Don't give these out to everybody, but if somebody gets a bottle and they want to try it like right away, since ours are pry offs, then you can be like, oh, you know, here's a bottle opener. But um, don't just leave them on the table. Kind of have them in a holster, like in in your box and behind. And if that interaction happens, then you get out a bottle opener and make their day, hopefully. Um, we've got a couple pamphlets. Now, this pamphlet is a trifold pamphlet. It's got some uh, question and answers on it. Kind of the same thing with these. If it's somebody that's really interested, um, then pull one of these out. But don't just necessarily have them on the table because um, people will just take them and, and they don't really get the big use out of them. But if somebody's really intrigued by our brand or kombucha, then pull one of these out of the box and say, oh yeah, here's some extra reading on it. Um, we have bumper stickers out. Um, definitely have bumper stickers on the table um, during the demo. Um, then we've got these bottle cap, our, our bottle um, things. These are for local uh, North Carolina accounts that we're trying to hype up the tap room. It's got our tap room hours and everything. So you can kind of, uh, after a demo or before a demo, probably both, just hook these around all the bottles on the shelf and hopefully we'll get some more people in the tap room. Um, so uh, then product wise, um, either take uh, low fill bottles or if you're out of town, we'll have some shipped to you. Or um, we also have these growlers, uh, they're pretty handy to pour little one ounce samples in. Um, and if you're highlighting, uh, you know, if something's on sale or highlighting a new flavor coming out, definitely take a growler of it so you can have a lot to give out. And if you do have a growler of it, um, at the end of your demo and you have extra, go around to all of the uh, employees there and just pour them a glass and so then they can try the product and know what uh, they're selling and be able to hype it up a little bit more if people ask, you know, what's your favorite kombucha. Uh, bucket on here, this usually has ice in it, so if you're a little bit farther away from wherever your product is on the shelf, um, always try and set up near, closest to the products, at least with an eye shot so you can kind of point them in the right direction. Um, if you're in a, the front of the store and it's in the back of the store, by the time the customer gets to the back, they're going to for, probably forget about the product. And so you always want to try and be in eye contact with the product. But if you're not right beside the shelf, here, you know, have an ice bucket of some kind, and then you can have product in here. So if people want it, boom, give it right to them right away. So what I like to do is initially um, to start a demo, if somebody's walking by, I always say, hey, have you ever tried Lenny Boy? And instead of saying kombucha, because um, sometimes people get lost in what the word kombucha means or what it is in general, so they get kind of scared and be like, oh, no, I'm good. But if you say Lenny Boy, it's a little bit more approachable. It's a brand, and you can kind of, um, you know, they'll be more open to what I found. Um, so, hey, um, have you ever tried Lenny Boy before? Answers, no, I haven't ever tried Lenny Boy. Oh, okay, well, it's kombucha. Have you ever heard of kombucha? So that's your second line. Um, if they say no, then you break out uh, the answer, which is kombucha is a fermented tea. It's high in B vitamins, probiotics, and amino acids. It's really good for your immune system, digestive system, and overall health. It's a raw beverage. Lenny Boy is the only certified organic kombucha made in the Southeast. Um, and uh, our mentality is less is more, so we're not going to have really intricate 10, 20 different uh, ingredients. All of ours are very basic. Um, what I like to do um, when asking somebody, oh, do you have a favorite flavor profile that you like? Some people, you know, really like mint flavor. Some people are like, oh, I don't like mint at all. So you kind of leave them up, up to uh, the decision of the customer. But if if uh, if it does come to it, I always like to start out with uh, the strawberry. Um, then I hit them with the lost rose. Then the wake up call. So let me just organize these the way I would I would serve them to somebody. The strawberry, it's easily approachable to so somebody that has never had kombucha. I usually hit them with the strawberry because people can kind of connect with that a little bit. If they have, if they don't, oh, if they don't like strawberries, then I usually hit them with the ginger if they've never tried anything because it's. I just say it's kind of like a natural ginger ale. Um, but kind of on a timeline of how to taste these out. 
About like that. That's how from strawberry down to sweet potato. That's kind of how if you try every flavor, that's kind of the palate, how the palate would agree with uh, with the flavor profile. So, you know, it, that's the way everybody would be able to taste them, you know, to the fullest. Um, so just a real quick breakdown of our company. Lenny Boy was founded in 2000. We sold our first bottle on December 20th of 2011. Um, got our home in South End, our new facility, or our facility in 2012. 2013, January, we became certified organic, and in September of 2013, we became a certified organic microbrewery, producing beer, wild ales, and kombucha. Wild ales are um, some alcoholic kombuchas and some beers that are soured with our kombucha culture. Um, and uh, then uh, 2014, um, we expanded our facility have a bigger tap room. Our tap room is located in historic South End. Um, and uh, I guess a breakdown of our flavors, we have seven different flagship flavors, six of them being year round, and then we have the sweet potato pie seasonal. Um, just breaking the flavors down real quick. Uh, strawberry, it's uh, fresh pressed strawberries right into the fermentation. Um, it also has lemongrass and nettle leaf in it. Lemongrass has some flavor and a lot of minerals. Nettles are really good, uh, high in magnesium and calcium. And um, it's the number one herb for women. It's highly agreeable with uh, most people's immune system and digestive system. So I always highlight the nettle leaf. Lost rose, it's rose petals. It's uh, very cooling to the body. So it's uh, a great mixed drink as well with gin. So um, the floral notes in the rose mix well with the gin. But um, it also has nettle leaf in it too. So these two are cooling. We also have another cooling flavor, but this is our wake up call. It's our high energy blend. It's got uh, yerba mate, green tea, and blueberries. Uh, North Carolina blueberries in this flavor. Um, fresh pressed right into the fermentation, just like the strawberry. Then we've got uh, another cooling flavor, mint condition. Um, this one has just spearmint and peppermint in it. Uh, again, less is more, very uh, basic ingredients. Um, it's not overly, uh, some people are scared about it tasting like toothpaste, but we try and mellow it out a little bit. So it tastes like mint, but it's not, um, overly uh, toothpaste flavor. Um, then we've got our three warming flavors. So we've got our four cooling and our three warming. Um, ginger, it's fresh pressed ginger right into the fermentation. Um, and it's uh, raw ginger. Uh, we don't pasteurize any of this stuff. Um, when we do a, a, a warm infusion with the herbs like the mint, um, but for the ginger, it's fresh pressed ginger right into the fermentation, and it's real crisp, clean, tastes like a natural ginger ale. Um, then we've got Elite Beet. A lot of people might be scared, oh, I don't like beets. I just tell them, just try it. It's got a lot of ginger in it. The ginger cleans up the earthiness of the beets, and um, it's fluorescent purple. So if you ever have one that you're going to a festival or something, and you only have one flavor that you can take for some reason, try and take the Elite Beet because it's fluorescent purple. So people uh, see you um, drinking a purple drink and it really gets people intrigued by what the heck it is. Um, then we've got our final one, sweet potato pie. It's North Carolina sweet potatoes. Um, it's got some cinnamon in it and some different spices and it's just a, a really popular fall seasonal. And that one's out from first day of fall, September 21st, until uh, middle of February. And then it's discontinued until the next year. But we try and use local ingredients as much as possible. North Carolina strawberries, North Carolina blueberries, North Carolina beets, North Carolina sweet potatoes. So um, we try and support local as much as we can. Um, and again, everything that in our product is certified organic. You can also highlight that um, all of these are very low in sugar content. Uh, the fruit flavors, um, the beet, sweet potato, and uh, strawberry have 40 calories and nine grams of sugar. Uh, five of those grams of sugar are from the actual fruit that we use, so it's not a back sweetener or anything like that. We don't back sweeten. We also ferment for up to thir uh, 30, at the minimum of 30 days, so it's a long aged kombucha. Um, and then in these more uh, herbal flavors, these have 15 calories and four grams of sugar. Um, again, we don't back, su back sweeten, but it's some residual sugars left over from the fermentation. So even like apple cider vinegar is, is really, really tart, but it still has some sugars in it. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the breakdown. You're also gonna have, you can also have one of these sheets out front of your uh, display 
um, just to highlight anything else and people can read off of that and answer some quick questions in case you have a bunch of people at your table. But uh, you know, tr sample out as much as you can of these people um, coming by and just be outgoing and get the word out there about our product. If there's any other questions, shoot me an email at towns at info, or excuse me, towns at discoverlennyboy.com and I will uh, try and answer them. So pleasant demoing and do it better than you found it. <laughs>